For anyone unfamiliar, I launched a free range meat company on Kickstarter last week. Unfortunately, it has been suspended. Anyone who ordered meat on the Kickstarter, we have our retail website up and running, Frankie's Free Range Meat com where you can pre-order the same products. So the Kickstarter was suspended, but suspension on Kickstarter is the same as cancellation as it cannot be resumed. If you say it was suspended because it violated the rules, then why did Kickstarter approve the campaign if it wasn't aligned with their rules? It ran for a week raising almost $30,000. So they initially approved everything in the Kickstarter, and then a vegan YouTuber proceeded to slander and defame the Kickstarter, questioning where the meat was from, in addition to making a bunch of false statements about the business. You're not even telling us where you're going to source these, like, these animals. So uh, this seems like a total scam to me. So again, um, Frank is basically just going to work with a bunch of... You know, crappy farms. Shortly after this, I received a message from Kickstarter's trust and safety team claiming I violated one of three rules. One, offering purchased items that they claim to have made themselves, which is not what I was doing. Two, presenting someone else's work as their own, which is not what I was doing. Three, misrepresenting or failing to disclose relevant facts about the project or its creator. This was the only possibility. We also discussed this rule with you at some length during some mission review, at which time you stated the meat we are selling is raised from our animals. With that in mind, we ask you to revise your project to very clearly state where you are sourcing all of your products from. You stated during sub-review that all products were coming from your animals. Precisely, which animals do you raise? Where is your farm? What is it called? What exactly is your relationship to the farm? If there are multiple farms, we'd like to see the answers to all of these questions regarding each farm. Additionally, your project story mentions wild game and fish. Are you catching these products yourself? If so, we also require a significantly more information about your fishing and hunting operation. Please include all this information in your project story for backers to see. Please make these revisions within the next 48 hours. Alternatively, if you are not the sole source of all these products, you may elect to cancel your project. Failure to make these revisions within the next 48 hours will result in your project being suspended. Thank you for your attention to this message, and please let us know if you have any questions about this. Again, please note that your project is at risk of suspension should evidence of continued misrepresentation surface. Now, why would they be asking me all of these specific questions when ButcherBox was funded several years ago without saying where the meat was from at all? ButcherBox didn't mention anything about the farms, what their relationship to the farmer was. They didn't have to mention, you know, what type of cows they were. They weren't specific about their business model. They did not say that they were opening a retail store online. If anything, my project is clearer than the project ButcherBox presented to Kickstarter, yet my project was suspended. So either way, I played by the rules and I edited my story to clarify these things, specifying where we're getting our meat from, what farmers are raising animals in certain ways for us. So under every section for all of my products, I added a second paragraph. In the case of beef, we have farmers local to New York State, Pennsylvania, as well as Australia, raising animals for us on a feed regimen optimal, providing high quality grass finished products. Same thing with fish. We have fishing boats from Alaska Ketchikan that are bringing us seasonal fish. Same thing with the eggs, same thing with the chicken, as well as the pork and the wild game meats. I specified where everything was from. Then the next morning, I received a message that my project had been suspended for one or more of the following violations. A project description that does not clearly state what will be created and shared. Not sure on that one. Everything is pretty clear on the Kickstarter. Raising funds for personal expenses, business expenses, or equipment without creative intent. And we were customizing every single product and making them, but creative intent is not a legal requirement to be a Kickstarter. Fundraising for a charity or a charitable purpose, no, does not fit into one of Kickstarter's categories or includes a prohibited item. Uh, so not very clear with what happened here. And this is the email chain that I had with Kickstarter support. Hi, we added specific details to our project to make it clear that we are processing every single food we are purchasing, in addition to the source of the product being from animals being raised by us specifically. I can provide the name of the farm if people request it, but this is a business or trade secret and revealing the name of the farm and fisheries will compromise our whole project. We have our own farmers raising animals for us, but that doesn't mean that someone can come around and offer a better deal. 
Please let me know if this is what you wanted me to clarify. Hi, Frank. Unfortunately, what you described is outside of the scope of Kickstarter's rules. Therefore, your project has been suspended. We apologize for any confusion and for not catching this earlier in the process. We understand this is not an ideal scenario. We're very sorry for the inconvenience, and we wish you the best of luck with this endeavor. And I said, is it okay if we remove all of the products besides the custom cut beef and the products made for them? I will modify the project. No, unfortunately, this decision is final and there's no way to relaunch a project once it's been suspended. We wish you the best of luck in your creative endeavors. And I asked, are we able to make a new campaign on Kickstarter with the separate endeavor? Hi, Frank. You are welcome to submit a new project draft for review anytime you have a new creative project. However, please be advised that we have determined that Frankie's Free Range Meat is not within the scope of our platform. So I don't really know what happened here. I never made any claims about where the meat was from initially on the Kickstarter. And a day later in the FAQ, I did state where we were sourcing our meat from. And what they had an issue with were products that weren't being offered on the Kickstarter. They were just future speculation on what we might be doing with the company. What's suspicious is that Vegan Gains was questioning where the meat was from on his live stream. Then Kickstarter suddenly starts asking me questions about where the meat was from. When I told them where the meat was from, they suspended me. I never claimed to be selling meat from any specific place on my Kickstarter. On my video I made yesterday with my business partner titled Free Range is the Future, I explained that we are sourcing locally as well as certain parts of the world for certain reasons. I don't understand why Kickstarter became so obsessed with where the meat was from. It's like saying, if I wanted to sell muffins, I would have to grow and harvest the wheat in my backyard, then mill it into flour to sell the muffins. If I knew Kickstarter was going to approve this and then bail on us a week later, I would have just launched a website and not had to deal with all of this. The level of oversight for this project is clearly biased. There are literally a dozen other butcher shops on Kickstarter with very similar ideas and nondescript business plans. And there's even a vegan butcher shop that's labeling meat as, me as meat free. How are they able to sell fake meat and I can't sell real meat? So anyway, guys, I'm really pushing to make this happen. I stayed up all night last night making a website so you guys can pre-order the meat and we are removing any sort of third party so this issue will not happen in the future. The timeline is still the same. All the information can be found on the website, frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Uh, I hope to keep the momentum going and really provide you guys with quality animal products. Providing nutrient-dense animal foods and high-quality animal foods has been a dream of mine for many years that I will make a reality regardless of what happens. If you guys want to know more about the company and what we're looking to do with it, uh, you can check out some of the videos that I will link at the end here. Outside of that, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share the video if you can. You guys enjoy the rest of the week. Have you ever thought the grass-fed beef you're buying isn't actually grass-fed? That those free-range eggs you pay twice as much for aren't any different than white supermarket eggs? Wild-caught fish might not be so wild after all. Nature never intended for chicken to be white meat. The same can be said for pork. These animals have always forged on their natural diets for thousands and thousands of years. We have brought together ranchers and farmers from around the world to bring you truly free-range meat. 100% grass-fed and grass-finished pastured beef. From classic Angus cattle to ancient European breeds, wild-caught fish from unpolluted waters deep red Alaskan salmon, and their prized eggs resembling pearls. Egg yolks so bright, representing their nutrition forged from the grass. Pigs left to roam through the forest, digging for tubers and roots, making their meat as red as beef. Hunters from every region, providing us with seasonal bounty of wild game. The foods our ancestors thrived on. Frankie's free-range meat. Real food lives on grass.